good morning or good afternoon or good evening because this is the first I'm vlogging today and I'm going to start making some turkey tacos for dinner so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brown some turkey so over here I have some turkey I'm gonna put into a frying pan and I'm just going to cover it and I'm going to let it cook a little bit. And I'm making a lot because Megan likes extras so she can take it for lunch for school. And it's always nice to have extras in case I don't feel like cooking dinner tomorrow night. We don't have any leftovers from the past two nights. So we're going to have leftovers from this. So got that going right now. And then I am going to cut up some vegetables and some avocado and I'm gonna make a mushroom and onion stir-fry to eat with our turkey tacos. So I still had some brown mushrooms from the other day or portobello mushrooms from the other day and I still have some whole white mushrooms that Kevin bought me yesterday. So I'm gonna cut all these up Put them in here and rinse them off so I can have them nice and clean. So here's my mushrooms all cut up and clean. And normally I use olive oil for everything, but I'm out of it. So I'm using sapphire oil. Um, hopefully it tastes okay. Never tried it really before. But we'll see. So once I heat up the oil, but I gotta let the meat cook a little bit, then I'll add the mushrooms and I'm gonna use my ninja again. Cause I am going to chop up another red onion. I like red onions. They're kind of sweeter than other onions and they, they taste a little bit nicer. So I'm gonna chop up my red onion with my ninja. So what do you guys have to say? Feed me, feed me. What? Are you hungry? There's no food upstairs, by the way. I have to bring some up. Want to be fed? Come on, tell me. No. Freckles won't eat until he knows he's not going to get people food. People food. So, but I'll feed you. You? I don't know what to do with you. Okay. Might as well just start feeding him down here. So I'm breaking up the turkey right now and going to finish browning that. You can also use beef in this, but I try not to eat too much beef. So when I eat beef, I want to save it for a nice, big, juicy steak. So I'll use turkey for this. As long as it's not chicken. <laughs> One of the viewers says, chicken again. I know. Um, Tonight's dinner shouldn't be too bad. It's not going to have a lot of vegetables, mushrooms, onions, and uh, a little bit of tomato and avocado and sour cream and cheese. And that, that's usually what we put on our turkey tacos. Turkey tacos. <laughs> and then we add some of, ah, here it is. Some Lowry's Baja Chipotle. Isn't that what you usually put in it? That's it. And... But there's so many different taco sauces out there and just taco seasoning packets that you can put in here. But we like to use this. Kevin Kevin actually found this. And, and this is actually Kevin's creation. That's right. Um, and it's really, really good. We yeah. all really love it's, it. It's actually a, a marinade for, uh, for, for beef marinade. But we put it on the turkey and the turkey tastes more like beef. It tastes really good. So, well... Yeah. That's browning. I'm going to finish doing my onion with my ninja so I can start to cook in the tomato, or not the tomato, the mushrooms and onions. In the meantime, I will feed the, the big mouth over here. Okay. Are you right. happy? Yum, yum, yum. Alright, I know. You won't talk while you're eating. Okay, so I got my mushrooms and onions. My onions did cut a little bit, some of them, a little bit smaller than what I really would have liked. But I'm um, heating up some of the oil right now. 
And then once that's he heated up a little bit, I'll throw these in there to cook. So now Kevin's home. He's slicing up the avocados. Look at how yummy that looks. Yummy. I love avocado. His sinuses are all messed up again. Ugh. I hate it when that happens. So do I. He'll slice them smaller than that. And then I got a bowl of cheese here. I gotta slice the tomatoes, the little cherry tomatoes in half. And we got some sour cream and we got some salsa. Let's check on the veggies and the meat. I added the sauce to the meat already, so the meat is pretty much done. I just have it on low to keep it cooking until we're ready to eat. It smells so yummy. And here's the mushrooms and onions. It looks like I need to drain a little bit more of the juice out of there so that it kind of browns a little bit more. What do you think? Sure. Okay. I think we need to get Kevin a cooker's apron. What do you think, guys? Yeah. What should his say? Kiss the cook? Kick the cook? No, kiss! <laughs> and we got the mushroom and onions all cooked over here. Come get closer. Look. All cooked. And we got the turkey taco meat. <laughs> Why is that? Uh, we got the turkey taco meat all cooked over here. <laughs> We're running out of room in our cabinets. I thought I lost you. Oh, I'm here. Nice. And here's Peggy! Oh. <laughs> How are you feeling? Tired. Tired? How's your throat? It doesn't really hurt, it's just itchy and dry. Uh. Okay. Tortilla should be in the um, microwave. And just shovel everything up. I think you're going to have to move. I don't think you can sit there. Well, he's just a, a roadblock, isn't he? All the time. Yesterday's video was called All About Boomer. <laughs> yes, Not it this was. Video. So me. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't even share. Hi. Series in St. Louis. And there's Freckles hoping to find something <laughs> on the floor. And there's Boomer just trying to get anybody, everybody's attention. <sighs> yummy, yummy dinner. Yeah. I know I said I wasn't going to make cooking videos, and this is the third night in a row. This third night in a row that you cook. Ow! But I don't wanna, I don't wanna cook Jeez. I don't wanna show it every night. Well then get up earlier. <laughs> I don't wanna cook every night because I'm not a chef. Well I was supposed to cook this tonight. I know, but I didn't want you to have to come home and do that. Okay. But it tastes really, really, really good. One of the animals threw up. Oh, right. After you cleaned all the carpets. Excuse me, I just spit all over the place. After you just cleaned all the carpets the other day, one of the animals threw up right there. Okay. What, are we ignoring you? Huh? Are you feeling left out? How is that possible? I'm in my underwear. <laughs> You're in a t-shirt. So. How was dinner? It was delicious. Did you like it with the cooked mushrooms and onions? Yeah, that's added a, a dimension to turkey tacos that we've never had before. It was very, very, very tasty. But when we have tacos at Chili's, they have the uh, the fajita tacos. Right, you know? and they have all that stuff in it. Yeah, yeah. except they also have peppers in theirs, and I didn't put peppers in ours. Well, I, put, I put the salsa in it, which was good. Very good. Very tasty. Better than I usually make it. 
Wow. That is a compliment coming from Kevin. Because he makes really, really good turkey tacos. And I'm going to uh, regret how much of it I ate. <laughs> I am. Ow. <laughs> Boomer's time to eat. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's time for shout outs. The first shout out goes to Spasmodic. He liked Kevin's fireplace mantle a lot. And he said that Kevin could make money on making those and selling them. So I was <coughs> telling the Spasmodic about Kevin's <coughs> coffin bar that we that Kevin made. So here it is. So I hope you all enjoy it. We'll give you a tour. Okay, so uh, the, the coffin itself I, I purchased from a guy who was a buyer for carnivals. So uh, when we, we purchased it, uh, uh, he told us that it was a, a real, real coffin, turn of the century, um, that was used as a display coffin in a funeral home for poorer people. So this coffin supposedly actually had bodies in it. And uh, it is definitely from around 1910, 1911, because when I was doing work on it, I found um, uh, some newspaper clippings used as uh, washers in here that were from that time period. Um, so the coffin itself is real. The top I made myself. Uh, I wanted to be, uh, since it was a flat coffin, I wanted to make a top for it for, as a bar. And... Um, uh, a plexiglass or glass top in the top. What? Well, do you want me to show what's inside already? Yes. Okay, then we're going to have to move Boomer. So, and um, it, it actually came with the skeleton. This is Barfly Bob. So, you didn't guys didn't even know that we had two skeletons, but uh, this guy is actually a. Uh, um, a top grade um, medical skeleton. It's it's also still made out of plastic, but it was actually used in a carnival, probably as a uh, um, in a dark house ride, and it was uh, done up to look like a real body. Yes. Can Bummer. we please move him so I can get a better picture of Barfly Bob? You know, Boomer. <laughs> So when I made the top, I put the, the, the glass top in so you could see it. At Halloween, we'll light it on the inside. Uh, I put an actual um, bar rail. But uh, we have the bar rail so it's, you can uh, make drinks on it. And uh, now take a look at the, the, the... Base. The base. I built this base specifically to um, hold the coffin at the proper height as a bar. Uh, I used to be a cabinet maker, so uh, this was kind of a, a fun little project to put together. Um, we, I actually bought uh, coffin handles for the side of the bar. So, so this actually does have a, a tap in it. And on this side, look underneath, we have a Cornelius keg that's uh, just got the hoses go all the way through. I have, uh, this is called a speed rail where you put your medica uh, medication, yes, this is medication, uh, where you put your, um, your bottles. well drinks, bottles, <laughs> I got a nice uh, stone top so that you can cut your limes and to make your margaritas. Uh, on this side we have a jockey box, I put ice inside there and uh, you can, uh, uh, it really cools the beer down. And we have a tap on this side. All right, boom, boom. So um, uh, you can take this anywhere since it, it, it doesn't plug in or anything. It just uh, it has a CO2 tank that'll push the beer from the corny tank through the jockey box, which will be ice cold to, into your uh, tap. That was a, that's a time thing. And we're back. And we're back. <laughs> Wayne's world, we're not. Hope y'all enjoyed the coffin bar <laughs> tour. <laughs> oh, do you have a dollar bill, mister? 
uh, Jack Adams caught you yesterday's vlog. You owe the cuss jar dollar bill. For why? You said a bad word. What did I say? You said PP, but you said the bad word for PP. I don't know if any of you other guys <coughs> caught. I caught it too last night when he was editing the vlog, and I told him he needed to put the dollar sign in the ching or cha ching or whatever it is, and put a dollar in the jar. He just ignored me. But Jack Adams called me out, called him out on it. So thanks, thanks. Jack. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Because that's my fun. <laughs> so he needs to put a dollar in the jar, everybody. Come on, make sure he does it for me. And, yes, I don't know why the dancing around in the monkey suit is okay, but patty cake is totally off limits. I don't get it. I really don't get it. It's a guy thing. Yeah. Okay. And Tanya, Bootsy ear is, <coughs> Bootsy's ear is getting much better. It is drying up, which is what the vet wanted it to do. Um, it's going to have cauliflower ear. <laughs> it's like a boxer. So it's never going to be pretty again, but we don't care. We love her anyway. <laughs> yeah, we, we really don't care what it looks like. It's not bothering her as much because it's not as big and and full of fluid so it is drying up and she is doing much better so yeah oh no yeah oh no I have to send Dana a quarter <laughs> did you say that yes Dana <laughs> Visa you've got a quarter coming your way <laughs> Jennifer Coleman Thomas, I think it was, says that you should put the... No, Tanya no, said it. Tanya said it. Yeah. No. You should put the cat nose on. No. It might stop Boomer from biting your nose. No. But dancing around in a monkey suit is perfectly fine. Monkeys are cool. Cat noses aren't. Yeah. Nope. Eight days. I don't get it. Yeah! Eight days! See how day. I changed the subject? <laughs> I'm good. Eight days, no injuries, ah, no checking gravity. Ah. You scared the cat. <laughs> sorry, buddy. Hey, everybody, oh, it's geez. time for Neighborhood Community Scroll List. <laughs> Scroll List. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you. We love you. Thank you. Thumbs up, and we will see you all tomorrow. Natasha. Yes, Boris. Honor. Natasha. Yes, Boris. Our identities have been compromised. I just... <laughs> Natasha. Yes, boss. Our identities have been compromised by the spasmodic. You must get truck ready to go to the desert. Natasha. Yes, boss. Our identities have been compromised by the spasmodic. Yes, boss. We must get the truck. Go to the desert. Before he tells Moose and Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs>